Hey, welcome back to day 10 of my 30 day updates on how I make money online and sharing with you some of my strategies, plans, uh, techniques, and hopefully maybe give you some ideas, some inspiration, and some motivation. So, um, I, you know, consider myself so far being fairly successful online. I'm making about $2,000 a month. Most of it is coming through my work on uh, the freelance site Fiverr, where I carry out different gigs. Um, for people uh, and they order and I make money after I complete doing the job so just to update you I have delivered several gigs you know I think last video was just under 700 completed orders now I'm at 704 so far year to date I'm at about almost sixteen thousand um, dollars so far in August we're six days in four hundred thirty two dollars um, and again, don't let the name fool you. Fiverr started as a site where you could get things done for $5, and you still can. But uh, you can get things done for a lot more, or you can charge a lot more than $5. You can see my average selling price is $60. Part of that is because I have two very popular gigs. One of my popular gigs, I charge on the low end $80, and on the high end up to $160. And then my other popular gig, um, is from 35 to 45 so that's the one that brings this down <laughs> um, but it, it you know I'm happy I'm doing well um, it's growing and as I've shared before I'm expanding into other areas so I'm trying to build up um, YouTube channel and other things and um, you know it's going well so again here on Fiverr right now I, I got a bunch of money I need to take out I still have a bunch of pending clearance. These are the gigs I'm working on, 1208. And um, yeah, so that's where that's at. Today, part of expanding and growing is I'm really trying to work more on building an email list. You've probably heard the phrase, the money's in the list, right? And that just refers to having an email list is very important. It's important for several reasons. One, you control it. You know, if you're uh, one of the things that, you know, always, uh, you know, keep in mind and sometimes get a little worried about is you know the bulk of my revenue right now is through the work I do on Fiverr but that makes me totally reliant on Fiverr you know I I think I do the right thing I treat people well and provide good service so I'm not overly concerned about Fiverr shutting my account down but you know I do kind of have all my eggs in one basket so to say and you know Fiverr for any reason I mean you hear about it all the time people you know, they're doing great with Facebook ads, and Facebook shuts their account down for no reason. You can't appeal it, etc. Google shuts your ads account down. You know, different things happen. And so, to a certain degree, you have to be reliant on third party. You can't be completely independent of these third party services and whatnot. But at the same time, you do want to kind of spread yourself out. And so, that's what's prompting me to work more at building up my email list. Because that's the, the, you know, the true saying is you, your email list you do keep. Now, you might use different email autoresponder services, but you can pull your list out of there anytime, you know, transfer it to another one, use a self-hosted. There's lots of different options. And email marketing is still one of the best ways to reach out to customers, especially if you have a really good relationship with the customers that buy from you or, or sign up onto your email list. Um, and so building an email list is a whole nother topic altogether. So I'm not really going to go too in depth in that in this video, but I did want to share with you a couple good email autoresponder services that you should consider. Because a lot of times people when they start online, you know, they hear about getting an email autoresponder and there's lots of options out there. Okay. Um, the truth, though, is if you are going to, serious about build, building an online business, some of these things are going to cost money. And an email autoresponder is one of those. Uh, most of them charge a monthly fee, depending on how many sus email subscribers that you have in their service. And so that can go up as you build your email list. But, you know, it's a cost of doing business, right? Um, so you may be going to start out paying $15 or $20 a month. But, you know, if you're using that email list to make three hundred five hundred thousand dollars a month then that's just a, a part of doing business the cost of doing business is a tax write-off and you know etc so uh two of the main ones now you got to be careful um with email autoresponders and that some of them 
do not like uh, people using their email autoresponder service to promote affiliate links inside of your email. Um, MailChimp is a very popular autoresponder. They definitely do not like you to put affiliate links. Again, they will shut your account down. No warning. No, uh, you can't appeal it. They just shut it down. So if you decide to go with MailChimp, and they're, and they're good, so I'm not knocking them at all. But if you do decide to use MailChimp, you always want to send people the link that's in your email needs to take people to something other than an affiliate offer. So kind of a bridge, you know, page, something that they go to first before they go to a sales page. I cannot go straight to a sales page. So it might go to, you know, a, a blog on um, a blog article on your site. It might go to a YouTube video. Uh, might go to a Facebook post, you know, something like that. But you've got to be really careful with some of them, and MailChimp is, is certainly one. Um, two that are really good and that I've used both in the past, um, Aweber, I'm going to talk about first. That's the one I'm currently using. Easy to use, um, works well, not a steep learning curve. they got great videos. You know, you can first, like most of these, the first month is free. And then, you know, you can go and, you know, see the pricing here on the site. I think it's $19 for up to, yeah, $19 for up to 500 subscribers. You can send unlimited emails. And then, you know, the price goes up based on the number of subscribers that you have. But again, it's just, you know, I look at it and I, I would encourage you to look at it as well as it's a cost of doing business. Um, you know, if you have a brick and mortar store, you know, you're going to have certain things. You're going to have rent, you're going to have heat, you're going to have this and that and electric and all that. And so you just, you know, you're going to have some costs. And um, building an email list is definitely important. You want to start that right off the bat in building your online business. And you're going to need to have an email autoresponder that's reliable and um, works with people who do affiliate marketing, Aweber definitely does that. And then another popular one that usually does well with affiliate marketing also is GetResponse. I've used them before. They also are very good. I'm not knocking one over the other. I personally like Aweber a little better. So that's who I'm using right now. GetResponse is great. They have a lot of awesome features. They're very similar in what they offer. The pricing is a little different. They both offer, again, the first month for free. I believe GetResponse, though, is then it starts at $15 a month. I want to say, um, your site's got a lot of graphics. Here we go. $15 per month, right? Um, it doesn't say how many subscribers, but that is, you know, and, but then see the difference is 15 jumps right up to $49 a month. Okay. Now I think that's because, you know, they have several different things that they offer in that $49 a month. Um, and then obviously some some higher priced ones, um, and then you know what you get. But essentially, you're talking about fifteen dollars a month. Oh, so for a thousand. Okay, so for so you say five dollars a month, and you get an extra five hundred subscribers with GetResponse. Uh, so you're going to pay four dollars more for a Weber and get five hundred. So that's that but again very similar uh, i'm not knocking one or the other they both work great i've used them both i continue to use both in, in some of the work i do with clients because a lot of them will have either a web or, or get response um, and they they work great so i'll put links to those if if you found this review helpful now obviously i make a little affiliate commission if you decide to pick up a web or get response through my affiliate link there's no extra cost to you it's just a small thank you uh, for my recommendation if you found this helpful and but I would encourage you to definitely start building an email list from the beginning um, so that's something I should have done earlier I am working on it now uh, but definitely a good thing to do right off the bat and it can just be simple just collect the emails you don't you know you can definitely set up a follow-up sequence you can you know segment and, and do all that but it's just important to go ahead and start collecting emails build that email list right off the bat all right thanks so much uh, again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, like the video if you like it, dislike it if you don't like it, and I will catch up with you on the next update.